follow me around Denver where I discover all the good eats Denver has to offer. It's a city that has been exploding with new options for the last couple of years. So I can't wait! So hungry! First meal of the day! Tupelo Honey is literally two minutes away from the beautiful Union Station. Instead of dropping off our luggage, we decided to grab some grub first. They were nice enough to keep our luggage safe while we ate. It's a modern, responsibly sourced southern food restaurant based out of Asheville, North Carolina. Their cocktails are on point. I wanted to go back for happy hour but never got the chance to. We ran out of time in Denver. Special fashion, and this we have to add to it. A little bit of Cuban cigar butter that are made in the house. North Carolina coffee beans and raspberries. Thank you. I truly support your beliefs in supporting sustainable farming and doing the research to find responsible farmers and producers that produce food in a non-mass produced way. I feel we should be moving towards a better food sourcing and away from factory raised animals. If people have to eat meat, then it is better that they came from happy animals that has been roaming freely eating from the land. With that said, you can taste a big quality difference. <laughs> The chicken tastes extremely juicy and tender, and it wasn't the bursting with unnatural levels of fat. So let's buy some martinis. We got our leftover food, because there's no way we're going to finish that whole big plate that's bigger than the size of my head. We finally walked home with our groceries. We got the water. This is the best water. I always get this when I travel. And I only get it when I travel because I don't condone bottled water at all. But when you're traveling, there's no other water. And I don't like the Brie filter, the Breda filter water. It doesn't taste good to me. No. But this one has some kind of like mineral, I don't know, it's electrolytes and the minerals in it. It really quenches your thirst. It is so good. Oh, there's my phone. Also my thing to tell me to go because we're gonna go get some ice cream because it's really hot here. Ice cream is only a 10 minute walk from our Airbnb. How convenient is that? I hope it's good. Plus, I need to walk off the huge meal we had. We're here. Let's get the inside scoop. Such cute decorations. Now, which flavor should I choose? Hmm. Wow, they all look delicious and I want to try them all. Their freshly made waffle cone was well worth the extra dollar. I can't wait to bite into it. I'm so excited. So for the ice cream, we got honey lavender on top and horchata on the bottom. So much flavor. It was so good. I want to try it. That was so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna come back every night for some ice cream. Oh, the house made waffle was so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so, just yogurt too. I know. You don't feel heavy after eating the ice cream. Sometimes when you eat the ice, ice cream, you kind of 
midway, I'm like, I'm done. It's too milky. And, and since I don't drink milk, but that one, oh, I can keep eating. It was so good. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Good night. All right, it's lunchtime. We're hungry. And we're too lazy to get go out and have to come back in. Because then we have to Uber somewhere. So we're just going to eat in the food court. In the museum! Random selection from the self-serve area. You get what you want on a plate and that gets weighed for the final price. FYI, it wasn't very good. So hungry! Got my burger here. Mm. Wow, this is a bison burger. Bison meat. It doesn't taste any different. It's just more gamey, I guess. A little tough. But it's really good. are less briny compared to other oysters and it's creamy and sweet. I was a little nervous eating sushi so far away from the coast, but I was happy I gave it a shot. I had omakase made by Chef Cory Baker and it was incredible! Each piece of fish showed precision knife skills and the flavors were creative with a fusion twist but still featured traditional Japanese ingredients too. I love that we were given two different desserts to share. Most places just give you a double of the same dessert. That sushi was so good. I'm so full. That was worth it. It was like the perfect amount of food for me. <laughs> Or a little bit more because I'm stuck. And now I'm just gonna walk home because I need to walk off this food baby. Just to show you how close coffee is to our place. We just walk downstairs and it's over there. Ook! Coffee! No pay, no poop, no pee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Got my coffee here. I got an avalanche, which is espresso and white chocolate. Mm. Now we're gonna go back. Oh my gosh, this light is like killing time. I can't walk backwards. We're gonna go back to the room and work all day long. Back into the room. In the office we go. I didn't eat breakfast yet. So for breakfast, we went and got oatmeal. Don't eat that much breakfast because I don't want to eat such fatty food in the morning. So I'm just cooking oatmeal the usual way I would do it at home. I first toast up the oats a little bit. I don't know if it matters, but I just do it. And then I went and got some almond milk. So the almond milk that they have here, I don't know. It doesn't taste like the ones I, I get at home. I like the Khalifa, the Khalifa, or I don't know how to pronounce that. That brand of almond milk is my favorite. And they didn't have it here, so. I had to just pick an almond milk. All right, let's pour it down. It's gonna bubble really hard. gonna let it cook. I also have granola to add into it. So these are pretty good I think. I don't know I haven't tried it. Let's try it right now. So let's see. They're okay. I don't know. I'm not that huge fan of granola of anything. So we had apples left from our Fried chicken feast. I just chopped it up a little and added in the oatmeal. 
Yum. Eating our leftovers in there. Look at that. It's browning nicely and heating up with the biscuit. Mm. All right, now I'm gonna try the coffee now that it has cooled down and I'm not scared to drink it. Mmm. It's really good. The coffee is, is perfect. I feel like it's better than Seattle coffee or Portland coffee. I feel like Denver has the best coffee. Denver has a lot of coffee. It's like a perfect blend of coffee and sweetness. Like it's not too sweet and syrupy. You got a cap. Achia. No. Yeah, it's really good. Like, I don't know if it's the water or some. I don't know. I got coffee at, at the museum and that was surprisingly really, really good. Denver coffee, yes. Must try when you're here. All right, we're hungry, so we're gonna get some happy hour. Let's go inside. Oh, it feels good in here. Hello, um, we're here for happy hour. Okay. Oh, that's true. I like cheers, guys. Alright, let's do a real life cheer. <laughs> Good fresh watermelon. Oh, perfect drink. Mm. Wow. The drinks in Denver is spot on. Everything I had was really good. Bison beef hard bar. Yeah, how's the car talk? That's so amazing. Hot belly buns. Oh, it's so good. It's a perfect texture. It's a So it says just pick it up with your hand. No, that's pretty easy. Like the skin is thicker than normal. Um, shall we fall? Just gonna stick it all in because I don't want it gushing out. Oh, it's a lot of hot. It's really good. I can't be a French onion soup in shallow bowl. Work together, but it's a beautiful little wrap. Skin. Oh, it's so good. What's the slice on it? Like, this, this is a slider, guys. It's not a whole burger. It's a slider. It's like half the size of my head. Make sure I don't bite into the pointy part. Oh, it's so good. The chicken is so juicy. It's perfectly cooked. Like, <laughs> like it should be pink, but perfect. Like, Time to just ride. It's just a, the brioche bread. So good with the little sesame on the top. I'm a food heaven. We happen to be there doing an ice cream truck event right outside our Airbnb. These nice girls gave us their ice creams for free. It was good, but nothing special. The best part was being able to try happy cones. It was so good. It says everyone leaves happy. Yeah. 
Oh, it spits on the other side. That's so cool. Oh, it's awesome. Whoa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Never had New Zealand ice cream before. Let's try. Give it a try. A Very good. Not too sweet. Super creamy. I got the strawberry and banana mixed together. The way they made it is unique. I've never seen it before. All right. Back in my apartment because the ice cream was just right downstairs. And I want to watch some TV while I munch on my ice cream. I finally got to the cone. It is so good. It's like perfectly crisp and really thin. It's just, I'm in love with this ice cream. I'm going to be so sad when I leave it. I talked to the owner and he was so nice. And he told us that the machine was very unique. That there wasn't, that, there wasn't any in America. And that it was ice cream he grew up with. I wish I grew up with it. Missing out, man! Now we're missing out even more because I can't find this! I don't know, man. Maybe I should move to Denver. Oh, all the good food! I will miss you. Yum, 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 day today super sunny really really hot I'm at the Civic Center and I was lucky enough to be here on a food truck day so I'm gonna go eat some food trucks so there's the capital there well that's my husband there's the capital there stop moving go away there's the capital there that top of the capital right there that is made of real gold Lemonade right here. Sitting in the amphitheater eating our food truck food. There's my chicken and waffles. Waffles has a weird consistency. Like cornmeal. This is the best chicken and waffle I've ever had. It was really good. I was just very hot. Really different. Oh, the chicken is really good. I don't know what they do about chicken. All the chicken I've had here is so good. I've had it close to Their sauce is to die for. I just want to drink it. I wish they would bottle it. This dish is delicious. I want to put it on everything. I'm so full and that was so good. So if you're here during the time, they have really awesome food trucks here. Rody is my favorite out of the three, so of course I must get a glass to drink while taking the tour. Oh, it's a beer here, it's a nice and light, and it's a very girly drink, but it tastes so good. Cheers! 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 You get to pick your own bread. The bread is so good. 
to my fourth line. <laughs> There's a skinny dripping in my wine. The sampler of snacks was so tiny, not worth nine bucks. It is a fancy date night place. The restaurant has a very romantic atmosphere and it felt like you were eating in a small restaurant in Spain. It was cool to be there while they were filming for the travel channel. The food was good but it was quite pricey for what it was. Denver had so much good food. I didn't even make a dent here. I would love to come back and explore their foodie scene some more. Denver, until next time. Hope this didn't make you too hungry. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Like this video if you love food. I'll vlog you next time. Bye!